and welcome back to my channel okay guys today yeah i know it's been a minute like i had a very crazy week okay so today we are going to be continuing our number cake series yes <laughs> and today we're going to be making the number eight i feel like the number eight is the easiest number to make among the numbers yeah okay so and you guys know how it goes yeah all you have to do to win this cake yes if you're in ukraine you can perfectly win this cake <laughs> and like i'm going to send it to whatever city you're in so like you don't have to be in Accra for you to win the cake all you have to do is to make a comment in the comment section below and like this video and whichever comment gets the maximum amount of likes by tomorrow morning i'm going to give you a call a you message and you can pick up your cake or i can send it to you whichever one you prefer okay so guys without wasting much of your time let's get to it so guys, this is what we will be making today. It's a number eight cake. And if you haven't seen my number six and number nine, I'm going to put the link right up here for you guys to see. So today we're going to be using a red velvet cake and it's going to be just a single layer. Yeah, and we're going to slice it into two equal parts. It's important the parts are equal because that way no part of your eight is higher than the other. And I can slice this with just my hands because like I've done this for seven years. so. I can perfectly slice it without having to measure or something but if you can't you can get a slicer or you can um you know device ways check youtube and devices ways of slicing it equally so <laughs> okay so slice it into two equal halves yes and then we are going to separate those two and that's all we're going to use today my video of a cake is not very red because i didn't add enough red food coloring i don't know why okay i think yeah yeah, yeah a bit in the night i don't know anyways it's just the top and the bottom but the inside is perfectly red okay so and it tastes awesome it tastes amazing <laughs> okay so as i was saying before the cockroach interrupted who is the cockroach i don't know anyways so now i'm going to show you guys how to form the eight and then all you're going to need is a board you need a board that is big enough for it in my case i'm working with um a six inch um a seven inch um pan the red velvet cakes are seven inches and then I'm working with a board that is 40 by 30 centimeters. It is a rectangular board that is 30 by 40 centimeters here. So we're going to cut off the ends and you have to make sure the ends you cut off at on, from each cake are the same. You want them to be symmetrical. Yeah, so that way you join it together. Very easy. You can leave it like this, but it is better and it will make a better number eight cake if you pull out um, cake, some cake in the middle, like around, you know, Cut out from the middle so we're going to use this cutter you can use the bigger one you can use the smaller one depending on how big or small you want your hole to be but when you do that um, it is important you make an imprint first because if you use just the cutter to go straight in the middle it is not going to work so well and you have to make sure that like they are the same length the space between the rounds are the same thing in each cake does that make sense i don't know if i'm making sense but i hope you guys understand me Okay, so once you make an imprint, then you're going to take a knife or a spatula or a palette knife, whatever you have, and cut out that middle. Yes, that's what you're going to do. And you're going to do that for the second part as well. It is very easy. And then when you do that, you're going to clean up your cake and then you're going to crumb coat with some buttercream. In my case today, I'm going to be using a Swiss Marine buttercream. <laughs> you guys already know what is coming. I preach my buttercream like it is the gospel and that's because i discovered this recipe myself like okay no like it's basically the regular recipe for swiss marine buttercream but the amount of butter i used and the technique i used to get the amount of butter i used differ so at every single point whatever the amount of buttercream you're making whatever kind of eggs you're using whether it's the manufactured ones whatever it is you're using it is going to come out perfect every time so i'm going to put the link to my buttercream up here so you guys can check and watch it in case you need a wonderful perfect pipeable buttercream recipe the buttercream pipes like a dream i promise okay <laughs> okay so now i'm going to crumb coat my cake yes and it is very easy to do that i don't use um sugar syrup or anything on my cake some of you have asked me severally before like why well, am i not moistening it with sugar syrup or anything I don't do that for my cakes i don't add um, excessive or more sugar to it after baking and that's because i make sure my recipes make moist cakes and that's not all you need after that you have to make sure like you preserve your cake well enough 
so that it retains the moisture without drying out without you having to add more water and sugar and like unnecessary sugar to it do you get and if you guys want me to make a video on how i keep my cakes moist without sugar using sugar syrup just comment in the comment section below i know you guys might be commenting that because you're just trying to bean this cake whatever but i think i'm going to make another video about that okay so now we are crumb coating this cake <laughs> okay yeah and you guys should let me know if i talk too much in my videos but i talk because like i want you guys to know what i'm doing at every point in time and to understand why i'm doing it because when i first started cake decorating there were lots of videos on youtube but most of those videos were just showing you what, what the person was doing and like without really telling you what the person is doing i don't know how to explain that but you guys understand me so sometimes you might overlook something and think oh maybe the person just did that out of habit but that's an important step in getting the perfect results that you want so that's why i speak like i do voiceovers over my video so that you guys can know what i'm doing and why i am doing it yes because i am here to teach you and to make your kicking life easier okay <laughs> so in case you haven't subscribed to my channel how about are you serious okay sorry i promise not to be entitled again so could you please subscribe to my channel and like this video okay okay right now stop watching and like this video the second yes thank you just click on like just one second you click on like yeah that's thank you guys okay so after this after crumb coating what you want to do is to clean up your board yes and then put this in the freezer or you can put it in the fridge overnight and if you don't have time you can put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or one hour or you know whatever time you have and then you can now put some more buttercream around it i mean by the side so that you will like it to be clean because this is just like a rough crumb coat I made a video of that but i don't know i think i mistakenly deleted it because i wanted to show you guys how i pull buttercream around it but the same way you frost the cake once this solidifies in the freezer for about 30 minutes take it out and then cover the sides with buttercream so that you can't see any of the cake you can just see buttercream and i did that but i can't show you guys because i don't know what i did i think my my phone ate it up or something i don't know anyways so once we are done with that once you have covered the sides of your cake i'm going to show you guys how to make clusters i've made several videos about with these clusters before and several people keep asking me how i make my buttercream clusters so i'm going to explain it to you right now usually i use three colors for my clusters and what you want to do is take three colors and three different piping tips of different sizes and different um i don't know different sizes and different different piping bags yeah and then insert them and then make different colors three different colors for three different piping bags and three different piping tips <laughs> do you guys understand yeah that was what i did so usually i like to use the first one as like the base color i use which is the cream color the regular color of the body cream yeah so this is the first piping tip and this is the biggest one so that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to make um rosettes around this cake at different points so we're going to do that and then i'm going to color another um set of buttercream um i need to make that blue yes another rosette tip i think this is the one empty and then i'm going to fill in the spaces with this blue but first of all i'm going to make rosettes first yeah i'm going to make um several rosettes around where there are big spaces for you to fill and then when i'm done with that then i'm just going to like put like dollops of blue frosting around to fill the tiniest spaces do you guys understand so however in this video the last color i used was green and i used it with a very tiny tip but i don't know how it disappeared i don't know footages of this thing just disappeared and i couldn't like refilm it or anything so i colored another buttercream green and then put in a different um, tiny piping tip and then filled in the extra spaces so that's the green part you can see i don't have any video to show you guys the green parts but i hope you guys understand that's what you're going to do you're just going to fill in the extra tiny spaces you can see and that's all she wrote it is very easy to make these clusters you can make them on regular buttercream cakes you can make them to decorate cupcakes you know or even donuts sometimes so thank you guys for watching and you can as well decorate the inner circle of your cake i didn't cover that in buttercream i was i was in a hurry i think i don't know what i was doing anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this and you guys should look out for my number seven next thank you guys and see you next time